and welcome to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to show you a quick little uh, feature that was added in Revit 2013 which is the view reference um, annotation. If we go to our annotation tab over here there's this little guy right here view reference adds an annotation uh, indicating the sheet number and detail number for selected views. Um, and this can be used and it has been used um, with um, when you add in uh, match lines when you split up a, um, a floor plan into dependent views and you add match lines and stuff but you can also use it just in kind of uh, any kind of um, note that you want and you can just kind of place it in and it's easiest just to explain so let's say for instance I wanted to put some text in here and then within that little paragraph or not really within but uh, along with that paragraph I want to have um, reference a view with a sheet number and a, and a detail number and then be able to double click on that to open up that particular detail so um, I'm just in a roof plan here and this is just the kind of the default um, advanced sample MEP project and we have a little drafting view over here double click uh, and there's just a little drafting view. So in this case, I'm going to put a note in, reference this view, um, and you can also um, reference other view types. I just, um, in this particular example, I'm going to use a floor plan and a drafting view, but you'll see that you can use any view actually. So back to my roof plan over here, and I just want to add in some text, and I'm just going to, you know, use regular text here, and I'm going to say, okay, you know, put some text in here, and I'll say, uh, I want a bigger text, I think, two and a half millimeter. And then I'll say, you know, uh, C, uh, detail, and then I'll leave a space for roof penetration. Okay, click out. Escape, escape. Now, when I add this, it's not going to become part of this. So you probably want to get this note to more or less, you know, look the way you want beforehand. And then, you know, you can add your leader line in here etc do it however you want to do that so now what you do is you go over here and you grab this little guy on the annotation tab view reference then you first pick the view type and then it'll show you all of the view types available so I'll say okay well I want a uh, drafting view type okay and don't forget in Revit 2013 we can create new view types okay so th this list is not limited to this you can create your own view types that's in another lesson, another CAD clip we have. Now it's going to show us drafting views, and there's our vent roof drafting view. And as I drag this down, I just simply place it in there. Okay? Escape, escape. I can add more than one. Now, if this shows up with dashed lines, it means that the uh, view that I'm referencing hasn't been placed on a sheet, right? So this is the sheet information. No different than a reference bubble that has a callout it doesn't get populated until the uh, section or callout is placed on a sheet so it can get this information. So if you see dashes in here, it's because that view isn't on a sheet yet. Okay, You can do this in a 2D view, uh, you can do it in a 3D view, Okay, probably better if you lock that 3D view uh, for annotation purposes, but this can be applied to just about any view without um, the exemption of schedules and you can have a look in the help menu now if I want that to match text wise I need to either match the text or match this guy but let's say my text is a standard size and I don't want this to jump out maybe I want it to be, to be the same size okay um, I've, you can try to group these guys together so they stick together and if you try to group them you'll get an error that says it won't let you group so unfortunately you can't do that so if you want it to blend in a little bit if you pick on here you'll see that it is a, re a view reference and it's actually an annotation family so if we scroll down here to annotation and we go and look for M view reference here's the family here okay so that's the guy that that is um, being used. If you pick the family, not the type, and you right click and you say edit, it'll open it up in the family editor. Now we're inside of here. Okay? And all it is is two labels with a piece of text. So I'm going to pick on this guy and change the type and say okay. Oh, it's even imperial. So I want it to be two and a half millimeters. So I'm going to go into this label, hit edit, 
and then I'm going to say duplicate and I'm within an imperial file here I'm actually going to go in and say 2.5 millimeter because I'm allowed to do that and then for the um, height I'm going to leave the aerial text height I'm going to say 2.5 millimeter everyone knows you can do that and it'll actually convert that so as long as you say the units in Revit you can you know put inches in millimeters and mix them up and it'll do the conversion depending on the unit setting for the project uh, everything else looks good hit OK click out okay now I want to make that the same so I'll just use my match and that changes that to that type okay this is the uh, match type and then this little piece of text inside of here I have to go in because that's not a label I'm going to duplicate that and just call this 2.5 millimeter as well and change the height to be 2.5 millimeter perfect click out now I want to probably align that Revit's gonna do a good job at doing that okay maybe I want to bring this nudge it over a little bit notice this is left justified and this is right justified so I might want to squeeze that down a little bit okay now do I want to save it as a different family or give it a new name Okay, so what I can do is say, well, I'm going to uh, just save it as is. And then when I reload it, uh, M view reference, and I'm just going to place it in here because it's prompting me to do that. And then I can say load, and of course it's going to ask me to overwrite the existing version. And there we go. If you didn't want to, uh, if you wanted to create a different one, then you could. And then all you'd have to do is go in here and, uh, and change it there. So you don't you could have given that a different name and the the only kind of awkward part is actually trying to get the the object to line up so and you can't use the align tool with text so you could have something like that in there that is a uh, what is called a view reference if you double click it click click it opens it up just like you'd expect and goes into here okay and then I can just go back to view and switch back to my drafting view here or my floor plan or I can just double click it off here I guess click click so you can do that and uh, a little bit useful alternatively we've always been able to do something similarly uh, similar to this with a call out or a section so we could also in the past do this so this is just another option is you create a call out and then when you before you place your call out you say reference other view this is basically what it's doing and then you can go into here and you can pick any view you want so I can go back and pick that same drafting view or I can pick a different any view in here that I want so I can doesn't matter I'm gonna pick this one and then I can you know do a call out box puts the sim in there escape escape now notice this guy of course doesn't have the uh, information there and that's because it's not on a sheet so what we're going to do is go down here to our sheets mechanical uh, let's go to duct sections that's where this guy is placed over here and let's go grab that drafting view of uh, condensation drain bring it in zoom out a little bit a little bit careless with my placement there take this guy move it over Escape, escape, pick on here, grab this, move it up to there. A little bit messy, but at least it's on a sheet. Okay. Now if I go back to my roof plan, there's my call out. So similar process. Okay. You can go in here and draw a section. And before you draw the section, you say reference other view. And then you can go into here and, you know, pick another section if you want. doesn't matter. Pick on here puts the SIM for similar in there hit escape escape again it's blank because it's not on a sheet but if I double click it'll actually go open up that particular section okay so whenever you see the dashed lines here it just means that the callout is created the view exists but the view hasn't been placed on a sheet so it doesn't know how to populate that so that works the same way with these guys over here so if you want to again uh, edit the size of this you have to go hover over it find out what type of family it is go down here find that family right click and say edit and edit that and then either rename it and bring it back in or um, or save it as the same name and bring it in 
And that's it on our view reference annotation family. I hope you learned something. Stick around. Lots more CAD clips to come. Thank you.